This video is a lot harder to make than I thought it was gonna be. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Lisa and by the title of this video you can probably guess what it's going to be about. I am getting gastric bypass surgery and I'm getting gastric bypass surgery very soon. My surgery date is March 22nd um, which is two days from the day that I'm filming. Um, so it's coming up really really quickly. If you guys have been with me from the start of my channel, you know that I started this channel as a weight loss channel. Um, my very first videos are about OMAD, intermittent fasting, keto. I did a lot of like what I eat in a day to lose weight videos. And then I took a pretty long time away from YouTube. And, um, and when I came back, I did, I think my last three videos were mostly vlog style. And the reason for that is because I was going through this process and to get approved for gastric bypass and I didn't know if I really wanted to share this journey with you guys because there is a huge stigma around weight loss surgery. A lot of people think it is cheating or it's the easy way out, which I don't really understand to be honest. Trust me, if I thought this was the easy way out and this was just some magic procedure, I would have done it 10 years ago. Um, I think that this is a very hard avenue to go down. And for me, how I think of weight loss surgery, um, whether it's the gastric sleeve or the gastric bypass or whatever, I feel like it is just a very good tool that if used correctly, it will help you lose weight more efficiently and help you keep the weight off more successfully than if you didn't have the tool. Um, but the key there is that you have to use the tool, um, you know, the way that it's designed, which means that you have to follow the protocols of what you're supposed to eat, working out, not eating slider foods, staying on your vitamins. And, you know, there's a lot that goes along with weight loss surgery. Um, and it's definitely not an easy decision to come to, but I do understand that there are differences opinions out there. So if you think that this is cheating or it's the easy way out um, and you don't want to watch my channel anymore, then I completely understand. We are, you know, everyone deserves to have their own opinion on things and that's okay. I just feel a little bit differently. Um, so like I said, I didn't come to this decision easily at all and I could probably go into a video like an hour long of why I'm getting this surgery in very specific details and if you guys want a little bit more of an extended video on why I decided to get gastric bypass surgery, I can do that. Just um, let me know down below but I will give you guys kind of a brief summary of what led to this decision. Um, I am not somebody who just gained weight after high school or after college or after I had children or after I got into a relationship. I have been overweight or obese since I was about six or seven years old and I have been on a diet off and on since I was 12 years old. Um, so if you can imagine, I have tried many, many ways to lose weight. I've done Weight Watchers, I've done Ginny Craig, I've done Atkins, I've done um, keto, I've done paleo, I've done Whole30, I've done Ally Pills, I've done HCG, I did the Ducan Diet, I did my fitness pal tracking calories, I've done tracking macros, I've got a personal trainer, I did beach body programs, I've pretty much done everything, you know, under the sun, to be honest. And if I'm going to be honest, I have been successful at losing weight in many of those avenues. Um, probably every few years I lose 50 pounds. Um, like if you look back on my pictures from high school until today, I look drastically different every few years. But the problem is, is I cannot keep the weight off. And what's even worse is that every time I gain the weight back, I typically will gain 10 pounds or so back with it. Um... So I kind of had a little bit of a wake up call in 2020 because if you follow my Instagram, um, I'll link my Instagram down below if you wanna follow it. 
Um, in 2018 and 2019, I was very active on there. I was counting my calories. I was working out every single day. I had lost 80 pounds. It was probably the healthiest I'd ever lost weight in my life. And I really thought that was it for me. I really thought that I was done and that, you know, I would never gain the weight back. And this was just a full lifestyle for me now. And unfortunately, during 2020 and 2021, the weight started creeping back on and I eventually gained back the entire 80 pounds that I lost and I take full accountability for that. That was 100% my fault of going back to old ways and not being accountable for myself. So, you know, I, I do take accountability for that. Um, but it did give me a huge wake up call, I will say. I had to have a very, very tough conversation with myself on like, you know, I've been trying to lose weight for 20 years now. And the only thing that's happened is I've gotten bigger over time. With each weight loss, I'm getting bigger over time. And what is the next 20 years going to look like if I stay on this path? And it was not a future that was pretty. And it wasn't a future that I feel like I deserve. And I had to really admit to myself that I couldn't do this on my own. And that is a really tough thing to admit. No one wants to feel like they're a failure or that they can't do something. But I had to acknowledge that I have 20 years of evidence showing that I cannot do this. Um, so I'm not too proud to take the help. And I decided to look into weight loss surgery over the summer of 2021. I went to a couple seminars and then I finally decided that this is what I wanted to do. And I reached out to a bariatric surgeon in the fall. And after months of going through the process, it's a very long process to get approved. And I can do a whole video on that if you guys want to. Um, I got my surgery date about three weeks ago. So for the last two weeks, I've been on a liquid diet, preparing for the surgery, and I am very excited and nervous about what's going on. So obviously, I have decided to share this video with you guys and to share this journey with you guys because when I was looking into gastric bypass surgery, I went to YouTube and there isn't a lot on there about gastric bypass you can find some stuff about the gastric sleeve and you can definitely find stuff on TikTok and on Instagram about gastric bypass and the sleeve, but there's not much on YouTube about people sharing their journeys. And I just, you know, I wanna be there if someone else is looking into this that they can look at my journey and see, you know, whether or not this is a good decision for them. And I just feel like the more people talk about weight loss surgery, the more information is out there and the less stigma there will be around weight loss surgery, or at least that's my hope, and that's why I'm sharing it, because I do feel like this is an incredible opportunity and it's an incredible um, procedure to have done, and there should be less stigma around it. People shouldn't be ashamed to get the surgery or to tell people about the surgery. So I am sharing it with you guys. If you guys want to come along with me on this journey, I'm going to be sort of recording everything. I'm going to start recording my first week post-op, second week post-op, and from there on. I don't want this channel to 100% be about weight loss because I do think I'm more than just a weight loss journey, but I know for now it's going to mostly be centered around it, but I do have high hopes in the future to do, you know, fashion hauls and clean with me videos and other stuff that I'm passionate about. So yeah. It's big news to share. Um, I hope that you guys stay with me and I hope that you guys watch my journey and that you understand and are supportive of me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.